In this video, let's talk about the temperature settings that can be controlled with the Swash 1400 remote by Brondell. Seat temperature, we just tap on the seat temperature button. We can see the LED light. So blue means that that seat temperature is on low. Pink means it's the medium temperature. And then of course, red means that it's the warmest. Now, uh, this can be adjusted at any point. Uh, can also be turned off as you just saw. So if it's not lit up at all, that means the seat temperature is off. Uh, the seat temperature is one of the few settings that uses up electricity when the unit's not in use, if you have it on. So keep that in mind. The amount of electricity is very, very minimal, but if you're looking to conserve as much electricity as possible, having the seat temperature off might not be a bad idea. Water temperature, same basic principle applies. Low, medium, high, and off. So you've got your four settings there as well. Now the dry temperature uses the same buttons that the water pressure uses. So for the dry temperature, we have to make sure that the dryer is running when we're turning the dry temperature up or turning the dry temperature down. If the dryer isn't running, then these buttons are not going to address the dry temperature. In fact, we've seen scenarios in the past where customers are seated on the unit running a wash and are thinking, hey, I want to mess with the dryer temperature so that when the dry comes on, I'm ready for it. And they press these buttons. And of course, because the wash is running, it's adjusting the water pressure. So these buttons are dual purpose they're going to operate whatever functionality they should based off of what is running at the moment. So dryer buttons here, but the dryer temp only kicks in if the dryer is what's running. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.